Hey, what's up guys, Marcus here. So today I wanted to talk to you about my newfound passion for cinema lenses. I know you're thinking like, they're just cinema lenses. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean newfound? Guys, I have not used cinema lenses in the eight years of being in this business um, and just being a lover of shooting video. It's always been photo lenses and I've used Sony cameras, Canon, Blackmagic, Fuji. I mean, the list goes on and on, but with each camera package that I bought, best believe there was a photo lens attached to that camera because I was just so used to using photo lenses. I don't know. I, I don't know if I was like intimidated by cinema lenses or I maybe I just didn't want to spend the money and not really have an understanding of cinema lenses or I don't know. I don't know what it was because, uh, you know, even like when I had the Blackmagic cameras, they weren't autofocusing cameras, so at that point, I should have probably switched over to cinema, but I didn't, and I was comfortable with using photo glass. Well, you know, that's changed, and I was introduced to a company called Irix. Now, before we start this video, this is my disclaimer. Irix did not pay me to say anything about these lenses. I wish a company would pay me to say something about their products. I'm not there yet. I am not there yet. So what you're hearing right now is my honest opinion about these lenses. If you go to my Instagram page, you will see me using these lenses all the time. So the proof is in the pudding. Some of the projects that I use these lenses on range from corporate videos, weddings, brand related content, and documentary. And not one time have these lenses fell short. Like each time, I was highly impressed with the image and I just loved what I was getting back from these lenses. And I have to say these lenses have helped push my creativity to like a different level. Now there's plenty out there about these lenses and about like comparable lenses and there's lens tests and comparisons. I'm not the guy to do any of that stuff. I this there's people that could do it way better than me. So I'm only gonna talk about the things that I love about these lenses. And I'm gonna mention a couple of things that I may not like about these lenses and how they work in my workflow. Was that fair? Now, one of the reasons I love these lenses is the image quality. Now, yeah, image quality. We all talk about image quality, IQ. <laughs> but these lenses have some really good image quality. And, and for the price point, man, it's just hard to see anything wrong. Like. You know, a lot of lenses that are like uh, on a on a budget friendly side have a lot of like chromatic aberrations or some type of weird warping in the corners or weird color indention. I haven't experienced none of those things with these lenses so far. And I've been using them for about eight months now. I mean, they're built like tanks. I mean, they're, they're solidly built and I just love how they handle in low light situations. I shoot a lot of documentary work and using these lenses in low light has been a game changer for me. There's another feature on the lenses that's pretty unique uh, to me and that's the magnetic thread that's in front of the glass. It allows you to be able to put on uh, one of Irix's uh, variable NDs. They also have other filters that you can just attach to the lens and it does it seamlessly it just clicks right on and it's smooth i know i haven't seen any other lenses that have that technology in the front so i think that was pretty cool and it comes in handy one of the last things i do love about these lenses again i think i briefly mentioned it before but they are built like a tank like they are it just seems like they, they feel so premium they feel like they will last you your entire career um they're weather sealed I mean, it's a beautiful lens. To me, it's a, a filmmaker's dream to be able to have access to glass that is really nice and, 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 and high quality, but at a fraction of other manufacturers that make cinema lenses that are three times the price. I'm not saying like, this is the only set you'll ever need to shoot within your entire life. I'm not saying that, but I am saying that if you're looking for a set of affordable cinema lenses that have really good quality without compromise, I think you should really take a look at Irix. Now, the only thing I don't like about these lenses, and this is just me, this is my opinion, I think Irix already knows, is that I wish they had more focal lens. That's it. Like I know last year at NAB, they came out um, and showed their 65 millimeter lens, 
but it has not made it to their website yet. So I'm really hoping and praying that that lens drops soon this quarter, prayerfully. Um, and um, one of the things, it's not a it's not a bad thing, but um, it is a wish item for me is that they focus on zooms. Um, I think with the quality that they have, if they made a zoom lens or a set of zoom lenses, I think way more people will probably move towards towards IREX. So, you know, if you love this content, um, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and then making sure you smash the notification bell so you can get alerts when I post again. And as always, take care of yourself and remember that you matter. Peace.